You may have noticed Bayshore Group signs that hang outside the old GM plant's huge site on Ontario Street in St. Catharines, but what's really going on behind the scenes? The Niagara Buzz team got a chance to go inside and check it out for ourselves and chat with Bayshore's president, Robert Magna, to find out what's happened so far and what we can expect in the future as this major landmark is transformed. Standing in the plant right now, what is your plan to change this development? Well, you're standing on the uh, east side of Ontario Street, which is the largest portion of the uh, JM facility. Our immediate plan is to get the entire complex down to grade and begin a remediation process for us to eventually uh, develop, uh, redevelop the uh, entire site. West side, that's about 60% completed now. We expect that to be finished within the next 60 to, uh, to 90 days. The east side will begin uh, very shortly and the anticipated target for that late September this year. Now you sold a lot of the assets that were in these plants. Where did they go? Well, we're, we're a global company, so they were marketed globally around the world. There, there was an international auction and it literally went all over the world. Team's relatively new to St. Catharines, but we're invested here. We've uh, moved our head office. Right. How long will Bayshore be the group to develop it, or are you just going to clean it up and then sell it? We are not here to clean the building out and take the metals and, and liquidate and sell and, and move on. This is a long-term uh, objective for us. Uh, it's a legacy objective for my company. Uh, we're going to be developing with strategic partners, strategic builders, strategic planners, grow and evolve as the demands of the real estate uh, tell us. Right. And uh, today, uh, our the revised plan is increasing the residential component. There will be commercial, there will be some high rise. We're looking at retirement. The first phase that we should see within a 12 month window is the parcel E on the east side. And that is slated for 32 townhomes and a single family dwelling. I really like to see shovels in the ground this year. Uh, the commercial side, there are several options and several opportunities to partner with uh, retailers and commercial groups. There's a landscape change. We have significant tax uh, increases for the city. Revitalizing uh, employment. You know, a year from today, this is going to be a completely changed landscape. So what people grew up to see every day coming down Ontario Street and across Carleton Street will no longer be there.